What's up guys, we're here to talk about the new uh, BB Core and USA Bass from DeMarini. My name is Aaron Gillette, I'm the marketing manager here for DeMarini. How's it going guys, Adam Copley, commercial manager of Bats here at DeMarini. And uh, smash that like button, get us talking, let us know where you're coming, comment where you're coming from, start asking us your questions about this new bat lineup, but uh, as you're doing that, we'll kind of walk you through some of the newest bats that we got, the 2019 BB Core lineup, as well as some of our new USA bats. And uh, Adam will kick us off with our CF line. Yeah, so starting with our flagship bat, we got our CF Zen here, super balanced bat made for a majority of players in the lineup. Uh, new for this year is our Paraflex Plus Composite. This is a controlled environment manufactured process that has a consistent barrel throughout the lifetime of the bat. We also have a Paraflex Plus Composite handle. Connecting the two is our three fusion connection piece, which reduces vibration throughout the barrel uh, into the hands of the bat. Uh, and our three fusion end cap uh, to keep everything nice and balanced throughout the bat. Uh, wrapping things up is our DTAC grip. It's a great grip for all weather environments. And uh, this is our CF Zen 2019 BB core. Moving past that, we have our Insane model. The Insane is built for a, a more inloaded player preference. Uh, your power style hitters, your three, four spot guys. Uh, we use the same Paraflex Plus composite barrel and handle in this. Uh, same three fusion connection piece. We use a slightly heavier three fusion cap to achieve our inloaded design. And also the DTAC uh, all weather grip here at the bottom. Cool, continuing on with our BB Core line, we've got our Voodoos, which you guys may be familiar with. You may have seen Oregon State swinging these as they won the national championship this year. Uh, this is our half and half, with a lot of guys out there call a hybrid. We've got our uh, Paraflex handle, similar to, to our CF line, but this ba uh, barrel is an X14 alloy. Uh, we've got the three fusion system with the end cap as well. The, the balanced one is going to keep this really nice and light swinging. Uh, the, the three fusion system is going to get the sting out of your hands and back into the barrel to make this a really great swinging bat. Um, a lot of our elite hitters and our college hitters really love this, this uh, the Voodoo balance. But they also, uh, some of the power hitters, they prefer more of that end loaded bat. This is what our Voodoo Insane 2019 looks like here. Uh, again, we've got that X14 uh, uh, barrel, but the end cap's a little bit heavier. Again, focusing a lot of the weight into the end of the barrel for power hitters. We've got that Paraflex. Uh, handle. Uh, we've got the decamo grip, which is also great. Uh, and again, the, pair for the, the three fusion system to kind of keep this thing out of your hands and into the barrel. Uh, for those of you guys who are One Piece fans out there, we also have an all uh, the Voodoo One uh, fire truck red this year. Uh, we got that X14 alloy that goes all the way through the bat. Uh, that nice One Piece. It's uh, made in, uh, in Hillsborough, Oregon. All the parts are put together and designed there. Uh, we also got that decamo grip handle as well. Uh, we also have a couple new uh, interesting bats from the USA lineup, the Sabotages that Adam will take away on. Yeah, so our Sabotage is a completely new design uh, for the USA market. As everyone knows, the USA bats are a little bit less performance than what we've had in the past and a little bit heavier. So we wanted to design a bat that was good for a younger player, one that may not prefer the big two and five inch barrels. So what we did is we designed a bat with a two and three eighths inch barrel at the sweet spot that then tapers down to two and a quarter towards the end. So what that does is that puts the weight in the barrel in the, right where you want to hit the ball versus up towards the top. So that creates a really balanced swinging bat. We have two different options with this bat. We have a minus 11 one piece alloy and we have a minus 12 two piece. So we use our three fusion connection and our uh, Paraflex plus composite handle, uh, but you get that nice light weight and this is a great bat for kids that really want to swing something light and generate bat speed versus having just a jig, big giant barrel at the end of the bat. Cool, so that's the newest lineup. We'd love to take some of your guys' questions. Keep shooting those in. Uh, any comments you got as well on the, the, new, the new look, the new feel, everything that we got going on. Okay, uh, we had a question from Ernesto. He said, uh, is the Sabotage two-piece, um, is it inloaded or balanced? It's definitely balanced. So the entire concept behind both our Sabotage bats are to put weight as close to the hands as possible. That's why the barrel gets fat at the sweet spot and then reduces down towards the end. So definitely a balanced bat. Yeah, looking for something that's just great and easy to swing for our youth players out there who are, who are trying to get into that big barrel side of things, but maybe looking for something that's a little bit light and easier to swing. So this, especially with this, this two-piece, uh, feels great, easy to swing. Okay, uh, question from Jeremy. He asks, which has the most pop? Hard to say, they all got a lot of pop. But... Yeah, absolutely. So we've tried to build all our bats to the performance standards that are provided, whether it be BB Core, UCCA, or USA. Uh, what's really going to generate the best pop for you is a bat that fits your style of swing. So if you like an inloaded bat, you're going to get the best performance out of a heavier model, which could be either one of our Voodoo Insanes or a CF Insane bats. If you prefer a, a light swinging bat and that's how you get your best bat speed, then you're going to get more pop out of one of our more balanced offerings. 
And something to look out there for you as well uh, that we'll get out more information as the lineup is, is getting out there is mass index, which is something that we're working on explaining to you guys to help you understand really how your bat feels, how the pop is going to translate, especially as you go from different lengths and different barrel sizes. So that's something that I'll uh, keep an eye, your eye out there for as well for more information to come. All right, we've got another question from Lee. He wants to know what's the best bat for a 9U player in drop 10. So there's two options if you're at 9U. You might be playing U Trouble State Travel Ball or you could be playing Recreational Ball with USA. So that being said, uh, it really depends on your preference. So some players prefer composite, which is more of like a thud sound. You're going to have a more consistent barrel across. Uh, the entire length of the bat, typically a larger barrel with composites because it's a lighter weight material. Some people prefer alloy. Alloy is going to have that louder ping. Uh, it's going to have a really recognizable sound that a lot of people like. It's ultimately going to be a preference for you. But we make models in both USA and USA that, that meet the standard of performance and are, are very high quality across the board. So here's some of our minus 10 USA bats for this year. Uh, we've got a CF here, we've got uh, a Voodoo as well. Uh, very similar specs in terms of what we went through just with the BB Core lineup in terms of what went into the making of the bat. And we also have a one piece as well on the Voodoo line. So these are what the new drop 10 USA bats are gonna look like for you. Keep those questions coming, what else we got? Um. We have a question that says rising 10U in drop 10 or drop 12. So if he's playing in 10U, what would you recommend he swing drop weight wise for well, 10U? The best thing you can do is try out some different models and see what fits your style of swing. Different size kids are going to prefer different bats. Uh, the light of the bat always kind of seems better, like you can swing it faster, but if you're swinging a bat that's too light, then you're not going to generate the power that you would from a heavier model bat. What I always like to tell people is swing the heaviest bat that you feel comfortable swinging. So you want to swing the biggest, heaviest bat that you don't lose too much bat speed, and that way you're going to put the most mass and most force into every hit that you make contact with. So the best thing you can do is try a few different models out and see what really works best for your style of swing. The difference between the 2018 CF Zen and the 2019 CF Zen. All right, I'll take that one. So the big change between the 18 and the 19 is the material that we're using for our barrel and our handle. Uh, in 2018, we used our Paraflex composite. This year, we're using our Paraflex Plus. It's the same on both the Zen, Insane, uh, USA and USA offerings. Uh, so the Paraflex Plus is the new material. And the big difference between that is a more consistent barrel. By using a temperature control process when we manufacture these barrels, there is just no difference along the barrel as you turn the bat, as you hit. Sometimes you'd have hot spots and cold spots along the bat. We've reduced those almost completely to be a completely consistent product. That's the big change for this year. Okay, um, so we have one from Brad who's talking about uh, the grips on DeMarini bats um, versus the stock versus this new grip that you guys have. Sure. Uh, so this new grip is not available on all of the DeMarini bats. We're offering it on our CF line only, uh, which is basically our flagship bat uh, for each one of the models from uh, USA, USA, and BB Core. So this DTAC grip's got uh, a polymer that basically is tacky. So when the grip's wet or sweaty, especially with batting gloves, if you got a little bit of moisture out there, this grip's going to still feel like your standard grip. Uh, you're not going to have a lot of slip to it. It's a little bit different at first when you first pick it up, uh, but once you get used to it, I think you'll really appreciate it. We like it a lot, so that's why we put it on our flagship models. All right, Keith has asking a question. Uh, he says, when talking BB Core, <clears throat> what would be the best model to start off with for the first time middle school player? It's a good question. I mean, I think the CFs are definitely going to be a little more kind of balanced all the way through. Uh, if you're used to a one piece, the Voodoo One is definitely a great one to stick with. It's the X14 alloy barrel all the way through. If that's what you're used to, if you haven't swung a two piece in the past, this is definitely a great way to break in. But I think the CFs are kind of our flagship, our best sellers. There are a lot of what guys are first when they're first getting into the, the BB Core game is what they're working towards the, of the CF, especially the, the Zen balance lineup. Yeah, and to add to Aaron's point there, the CF Zen and the Voodoo One are the two most balanced bats. Being that you're in middle school, swinging a BB Core probably for the first time. Uh, those are heavy bats. It's a big transition, even going from a minus five to a minus three. It's a big change. So the best thing typically to start off with is something really balanced. And you know, from our full range, from our entry level Voodoo One all the way to CF, those are very balanced bats. I would I would look towards those and in the shorter lengths. It's great, guys. Keep those questions coming.
Is that it? All right, great. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Make sure to check out the new lineup on JustPass.com. Uh, again, I'm Aaron. This is Adam signing off. Appreciate your time. Great talking to you guys.